Hey guys, I just thought I would follow up that run with a brief after run thoughts. This is my second time ever running this truck. The first time was last winter out on the crawling course. And I just wanted to give you my honest opinions uh, of the RC four-wheel drive 118 scale Galanda 2. Um, again, these are just my impressions um, from driving it. Other people may have other opinions, but I always want to be honest with you guys. And with this truck being by far the most expensive ready-to-run crawler uh, in my collection of the small ones right now, like I said, I just want to give you my feedback, and I'll try and keep it brief. Uh, one thing that RC four-wheel drive has always done is make really nice, aesthetically pleasing uh, RC cars. And this D90 here is no different. It really looks the part. To me, that's about where the positives end. Uh, number one, to gain access to the chassis, uh, you have got to remove four screws. There's two underneath here in the back and then two up front uh, underneath as well uh, using two different hex sizes. Not a big deal. Took me less than a minute to get them undone and off. Um, but this truck, you know, for $220, you can find it out there at the most online RC retailers. Leaves a lot to be desired, in my opinion, and my and in my experience. Uh, the electronics are just not very good. I've got uh, the dual rate for the steering up all the way. And it's just not very good. This thing turns like a big old steamship. Big wide radius. Um, and the throttle modulation is, is not very good. While it looks good here with the wheels up off the ground, uh, out there... You know, on the trails, it's very herky-jerky. It stutters quite a bit. And uh, it's just not very smooth. And I'll pick up the speed here. And one thing, we'll see if you guys notice it. Look at that wheel wobble. Back, front, uh, the wheel wobble is pretty ridiculous. Uh, so these wheels look nice. The tires, I don't really have an issue with the tires. Uh, if this truck would go out there and just be a straight trail truck, not really trying to do much crawling. I'd call it a little expensive, but I would still be happy with it. Um, but really, it's not even all that great as a trail truck. Again, this is just my opinion. Uh, for 220 bucks, I'd at least want to see some LEDs on this truck. Um, I mean, they're, they're, the lenses are there, you can put them in yourself, but for 220 bucks, you should have thrown them in. Uh, like I said, just the servo and the electronics overall are just not very good on this truck, in my opinion. You get a decent enough battery, but yeah, again, it's just not a great performer uh, for me. You know, friction shocks, I don't have a problem with that. Um, just about all 118 to 124 scale crawlers come with friction shocks. I have no issues with that. But for 220 bucks, in my opinion, that is money better spent on a whole slew of different smaller crawler rigs if that's what you're going after. Um, any one of the 124s or 118th that I have in my collection, any one of those <laughs> would beat this one uh, any day of the week. I'll throw a picture up in here somewhere. Um, you know, any one of those would do better than this. So this truck looks really nice, but overall, for me personally, it's just really not even that fun to drive. It looks nice as a static model. And yes, like any other RC car out there, you can go throw money into, into upgrades and mods and, and all that stuff to get it to perform better. But in my opinion, for $220, you really shouldn't have to do that much. So I don't know how often we'll see this one on the channel. It's just... You know, I'm sure some people love it for me. It's just not for me. But I want to give you guys my honest opinion after a couple of runs of this truck. That's going to wrap this one up, guys. Thanks, as always, for taking some time out of your day to check out my videos. And until next time, everyone stay safe. We'll see you around.